아 배고파 배고파 죽겠다 뭐라고? 배고플 때 집중이 잘 된다고? 아, 몰라 난못 움직여 If you know the difference between these two forms, you'll know when to use them. <laughs> you like how I... Um, <clears throat> anyway, there are two common ways to express if and when in Korean. Here are the rules for them. To make the myeon form, take the verb stem and add myeon if it ends in a vowel, or umyeon if it ends in a consonant. For the de form, take the verb stem and add either a lil if it ends in a vowel, or ul if it ends in a consonant, then add de. 결혼하다 to get married would become 결혼하면 or 결혼할 때 먹다 to eat would become 먹으면 or 먹을 때 비싸다 to be expensive would become 비싸면 or 비쌀 때 and 어렵다 to be difficult would become 어려우면 or 어려울 때 Remember that some types of descriptive verbs have their own conjugation rules, such as ones that end in a bf like this one. Now that you know how to conjugate these two forms, let's go over how they're different. This form literally can mean either if or when. However, in English, these can sometimes be interchanged. Take this sentence, for example. 시간이 있으면 같이 밥 먹자. 시간이 있으면 같이 밥 먹자. If you have time, let's eat together. We could have also said when you have time, let's eat together. This is one of the reasons that these two forms can be confusing, but there is a simple explanation for what this form means. The myeon form is used for stating a hypothetical situation. Therefore, it sometimes translates as if and other times as when. Here are a few more examples. 오늘 비가 오면 밖에 나가지 말자. 오늘 비가 오면 밖에 나가지 말자. If it rains today, let's not go outside. 빨리 안 하면 죽어. 빨리 안 하면 죽어. If you don't do it right away, you're dead. 부모님에게 친절하면 생일 선물을 많이 받을 거예요. 부모님에게 친절하면 생일 선물을 많이 받을 거예요. If you are nice to your parents, you will get many birthday presents. So if myeon can mean both if and when hypothetically, then how can we tell apart from this form? Simple. The word de actually means time, such as the time when, as in the sentence, the last time when I went to school, or the time I got married. In this sense, it also means when, but only when you want to refer to the actual event in time. 저는 학교에 있을 때 공부해요. 저는 학교에 있을 때 공부해요. When I am in school, I study. Or you could say, the times when I am at school, I study. 고양이가 밥 먹을 때 시끄러워요. 고양이가 밥 먹을 때 시끄러워요. The cat is noisy when it eats. Or you could translate it as, the times when the cat eats, it's noisy. Okay, before I give you some more examples, let's compare the two forms. Here's a sentence written with both the myeon and they forms to show what I mean. 우리는 결혼하면 요리를 많이 할 거예요. Or, 우리는 결혼할 때 요리를 많이 할 거예요. See if you can guess which sentence is more correct. I'll give you a hint. They're both grammatically correct, but one of them sounds rather silly. Take 10 seconds to think about it while I play some soothing jazz music. Okay, did you guess A? Well, that's right. But what if you guessed B? Hmm. Technically, you know, I said both sentences are grammatically correct, but they do have a different meaning. First, let's look at A. When we get married, or if we get married, we're going to cook a lot. It's stating a hypothetical situation. It sounds good, and it is. But what does B mean then? The time that we get married, we're going to cook a lot, is what it literally means. And since the day form means the time when, you could understand it to mean this. At the time when we get married, in the chapel, at that very moment when we become husband and wife, while I'm in my tuxedo and you're in your dress, we are going to cook so much food. You can probably imagine it would sound a bit silly, unless that's your dream wedding. But using the day form literally means the time when, so this is what you'd be saying. Now let me give you some examples of correct ways to use the day form. 숙제를 할 때 집중해야 돼요. 숙제를 할 때 집중해야 돼요. You need to focus when you do homework. 내가 어렸을 때 
한국말을 못했어. 내가 어렸을 때 한국말을 못했어. When I was young, I couldn't speak Korean. 운전할 때 핸드폰을 쓰지 마세요. 운전할 때 핸드폰을 쓰지 마세요. Don't use your cell phone when you're driving. There are also other grammar forms that can be used together with these two, but focus on these ones first, and I can make a video later on going into them further. As usual, I recommend watching this video again and making your own example sentences to practice. Using these forms is the best way to learn them. 그럼 다음에 또 봐!